bro, I'm not looking for no relationship at all. In any type of way. Like, that is, that's not even my intentions with you right now. I'm more so, like, I like what we got. Like, more like friends with benefits. If, if I cuff you, it's not going to be the same. Like, I, I know you probably like, what the fuck, bro? Listen, it's not that deep. Like, I still like you. I just don't want to cuff right now. I'm not in a position to be cuffing right now. We can still do everything we've been doing, right? I mean, it makes sense, kind of, because we haven't known each other for that long. But, like, that's not what we're working towards type shit. What are we working towards? Well, eventually, like, a relationship. shouldn't get mad if I'm talking to other females because you not my fucking girl. And I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but like, if I'm talking or fucking with other females, you shouldn't be mad because like, we have no title, you're not my girl. So if I was doing the same thing, you wouldn't give a fuck? Uh, you cut off, for sure, for sure. Okay, but then I have to deal with it? Absolutely. This is the bottom line. You're not my girlfriend, which means we have no title, which means I can do whatever I want. I know you like me, but I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm going to. Simple. Okay, Beth, then it could just be friends. I'm not being friends with you. I don't need no female friends. My female friends, I'm fucking. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. When I first saw this, my initial thoughts were that He's trash and she's weak. Or at, at best naive, but honestly, she just comes off weak. And there were people in the comment section saying things like, oh, I can respect his honesty because he kept it real with her. He let, he let his intentions be known. So she had the opportunity to choose whether or not she wanted to continue being involved with him. But at least he kept it real and was honest with her. And you know what? I don't respect his honesty. If he had told her up front in the very beginning, cool. But he waited till after she was emotionally invested to let her know that all he wanted was sex. And even he knew that she was going to be caught off guard by it because he said, oh, you know, you're probably thinking, what the fuck right now? Matter of fact, he wouldn't have even thought it important enough to record her reaction to him humiliating her if he knew that she was going to be on the same page. So, no, I don't respect it. I, res I would respect it if it was the first date or something like that. Matter of fact, I would respect his quote unquote honesty if at least during this conversation, whenever he's telling her all these things and she expresses that she has real feelings and is looking forward to a relationship at some point in the future. He just cut it off right there and said, you know what, then it's best us go our separate ways because I don't want to hurt you. But what did he do? Continue pushing for friends with benefits. Something that would solely and exclusively benefit and serve him, not her. Somebody that he claims to care about. No, nah, he wasn't being honest at all. He's being quote unquote honest in the same way a car salesman is honest and tells you after they made the sale final that the car they just sold you was fucked up and ain't gonna make it 20 miles off the lot. And then says, you know what? I'm giving you the opportunity to choose whether or not you wanna drive this car off the lot. It's up to you. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest. Respect my honesty. Fuck no, man. Ain't no honor in that. But, but on the same token, she's not no innocent, faultless victim. Because as adults, yeah, we're expected to check the car facts of a used car. We're expected to take it by a mechanic, get it inspected, because we're supposed to protect ourselves. Why? Because everybody ain't got the same heart as you, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be to where if you having sex with somebody, you spending time with them, you having deep conversations and laughing and joking, making memories, maybe even working with them, that it's supposed to be leading to something long-term and substantial. But guess what? That's how your heart works. That ain't how everybody else's heart works. And as the caretaker of your heart, you're supposed to protect it the same way if you're the caretaker of a child you're supposed to protect them and not let them run all over the mall or outside whenever they feel like it because the child can't protect itself the same way your heart can and you don't show up to some job or some company scrubbing floors and wiping toilets and serving customers and then three weeks later look for a, a paycheck and then play victim whenever you don't get one no, you're supposed to protect your investment, protect that value, protect that, that that attention and energy that you gave that company with at least an express commitment. So if you get played, it's because they're manipulated and lied, not because you played yourself. That's emotionally irresponsible to assume anything. And I see a lot of women who, who would rather be scared of a dude running off who don't even want what she wants than they are scared of playing themselves, assuming that he does. So with that being said, my initial thoughts are honestly solidified. He is trash. 
Not only because he didn't make his intentions and what he was on known up front, but also that whole spiel about, I like you, we cool, I fuck with you, but if you don't give up the pussy, then I don't want anything to do with you on any level, no friend or nothing. And the fact that he not only is holding her to a double standard and still claiming to like her, that's trash. And the fact that she even let that conversation go that far and to this day is still fucking with him after this video has been posted shows that she's weak. They both need to grow up as far as I'm concerned.